Hello, this is Mr. BNSF Train, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and run of Trackmaster Rebecca. I just picked this up at Target a few days ago. Tar my Target that I went to only had two Rebeccas, and like six of these, which don't really fit in with not very good choices. Especially that Percy, because it's not seen on the actual show, unlike this. This cost me $15 to go ahead and unbox it. with special assembly instructions. Sorry if my hand's in the way, it was very difficult to hold this piece of paper flat. On the instructions sheet, you see a picture of James, but on the packaging, Nia is it there instead of James. What I really like about the new packaging, because it's more like an actual model train box that can actually be resealed and stored in. piece of plastic covering the scrap load. Just see if I can stick this on with not really looking at the instructions. Maybe I might have to you know. yeah, it snaps on right behind her deflectors. Got pinchy in the glasses, and the glasses are a separate thing. I have to detail those up. And steam shovel. Okay then, take the assembly off, see how it looks like. I don't know if it can slide onto any other engine. Oh, I do have Timothy here. Not really. No. So it only works with Rebecca's body. Here's Rebecca's face. She doesn't... She looks a little sad. I don't really like how the buffers aren't really there. They didn't paint these windows here. Back is it is blank. No dummy wheels. Let's take a look at the tender. First time I've actually got a Trackmaster engine that's new of the new design. Has all cogs on the axles. I really like how all the tender looks. I complain about at in the actual show. Maybe I might get an extra Neville tender and paint this up as a scrap tender. There's no swiveling back coupler. And the scrap wagon.
Yeah, and it's a different font than what it shows on the box. You can see it. I'm gonna go put a battery in Rebecca and be right back. How the inside of the shell looks. How to fit the batteries in. I don't know if we ever had like another a Trackmaster 2 engine already with the old wheels. That's a little, little ding as it turns off. It's this little E symbol here, which I haven't seen on him. Timothy doesn't have that symbol. I also just noticed that the front cup were it's pretty different from the others that just do it like that. Same with on this wagon. So yeah, I think find that unusual. Stick them in the wagon. Pour me in. Get Rebecca running. It's pretty fast. Do I have to compare it to an older Trackmaster engine? This is a good runner. I'm not gonna lie. So the frame of both the tender and the freight car are the exact same molding. Okay, got an old fashioned, the older style Trackmaster Thomas. Which is probably the best Trackmaster Thomas I've ever made. Let's see how, who catches up to who first. Crap, the world won't stay in. They actually gear Rebecca faster? I'm quite surprised. Um, makes sense. Like it's a fast engine. Oops. <laughs> Rebecca derailed. Okay, so I got Rebecca hooked up to my other Trackmaster 2 cars. It makes it somewhat of a rainbow.
Mm -hmm. And it doesn't automatically knock those points. Shame. I don't really have a full layout set up right now, so the kind of stuff with this is basically all the, basically most of my Trackmaster 2 track, but I'm missing a curve, so I'm stuck with that, which fits. Rebecca can pass over without any troubles, even, I haven't even filed down the bottom yet. So. Won't add details or modify it until a bit later. Kind of just wanted to look at the track NASA Rebecca before the Playrail version comes out. So might get the Playrail version to do a side by side comparison with the track NASA 2. Let's just see if Rebecca can go around with her mod still on. And yes, I sharpied in the sudden glasses. Nope. Steam shovel gets caught in the switch. Take steam shovel off. Now the steam shovel keeps catching on the switch. Now I have to try seeing it the other way around. Okay, now we'll send Rebecca the other way. Oh, still get stuck. Oh, there goes the shovel. So basically, Becca's claw is scrap. Just as the wagon implies. I don't know if you can really see this, but the printing quality is really bad. I also painted the tiny buffers and marker lights and the windows right here and here. Printing quality is also pretty bad on the tenders. Here's a chip there. I did paint the ladder and the 
little tank, which is hard to do. I don't understand why it has buffers right here. I'm just reusing the frame. Probably cut those off and stick them on Rebecca's front. I think Rebecca's yellow should have been the same yellow as this van. I just noticed how crooked the printing is on the tender. Not good. Now I'm going to do a pushing test between Rebecca and the old fashioned Thomas. Eh, I might have to take those mods off first. Okay, I'll try without any curve this time, so... Ready... Set... Go. Yeah, Thomas has definitely more traction. And Rebecca just fell on the floor. Now I want to see the new Trackmaster 2 engine versus an older Trackmaster 2 engine. Yep, Rebecca definitely has more traction. Now let's see who is faster, Rebecca or Timothy. I mean, Timothy has definitely caught up to Rebecca. Okay, to be more fair, I set them on different sides of the oval. So Timothy is faster. So my overall final rating on Trackmaster Rebecca is 5 out of 10. Not the best model. Maybe a 4 out of 10? It's, it's bad, but not awful. Thanks for watching.